Alright, welcome everybody. This is uh, your boy Christian. And uh, this is a, a new segment, a new thing that we are calling um, My Jersey Chronicles. With, you know, hosted by me obviously. But uh, before, you know, we started doing with other people and with everybody else, I wanted to go ahead and do my uh, Chronicles of Jerseys. Uh, I might be missing one or two, but this is just, uh, you know, just to get a gins or just for you to get a taste of what it's going to be like to do this uh, this little segment that I've titled it My Jersey Chronicles. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing is going into people's homes or closets or, um, you know, depending on how the quarantine goes uh, and depending if they let me in, uh, we might be able to do it online too. But um, basically, what I'm going to be doing is uh, talking to people about uh, basically their, their uh, jersey collections. Like I have mine here, uh, like I'm wearing to have other here. And then basically we're just going to go over and we're just going to talk about, you know, what it is to be a soccer fan and what kind of jerseys you have in your closet and uh, what you're playing with them. Do you want to keep them forever? Are you going to, you know, give them away? Or, you know, what what's the story behind them? Where, when did you get them? How did you get them? Who bought them for you? And, you know, and all those basic things, basically. Um, so... We're going to go ahead and kick it off with me first, of course. Uh, I'm going to be the guinea pig for uh, this, um, for the brand 442, uh, which is going to give you, uh, like I said, a bunch of uh, other content more like this. And hopefully they'll get better and better, better quality, vi uh, better video, and uh, maybe a, a better host. Who knows? But, you know, it all depends on how we do. But um, we're going to go ahead and kick it off. Um... I'm gonna first, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm a, I was gonna try to do it in like age order, uh, the ones that I got in first and the ones that I got in like towards the end, uh, but maybe you know some people don't have them arranged in uh, in order. Um, I know I don't, for I just keep them all together. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit uh, of everything, and I'm just gonna talk about my life and and basically how everything went down and how I ended up with these uh, specific jerseys that I have. Um, so right now we're in my closet, uh, as you can see. Uh, this is my my little collection of jerseys and jackets and every, basically everything that is uh, soccer related. And that's what we're going to be doing. Um, but before we do that, before I show you my actual jerseys and stuff like that, and you know I got some scarves and stuff, um, I wanted to go ahead and kick it off with uh, some stuff that I got, you know, as a, as a soccer player. So like. I'm going to go ahead and just hold it up. If you can see that right there, this is uh, my Texas Premier shirt that I used to wear. Um, as you can see, it's been a while, and I used to be number 19. Show it for the camera right there. I don't know if you can see it. The number uh, 9 came off, but uh, this is the club team that I used to play for back in the early 2000s. Uh, Texas Premier, I, got, I have a lot of... Uh, Really good memories. We used to uh, wear this one, and then one that was like the exact opposite. It was blue with the white uh, thing on it. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of good memories. Uh, this is basically where I started my. I didn't start my career there. I actually, when we came to the U.S., my parents, um, the first thing that they did, they signed me up in uh, YMCA. Uh, but you know. It was kind of weird because you know YMCA doesn't they don't really let you score a lot of game or a lot, they let you score a lot of goals but sometimes they don't even keep you know tally on how many goals you got and all that. Um, but it is what it is. After that you know we moved, I moved into different uh, clubs and stuff like that and then Texas Premier was like the first legit competitive. Actually no, it was my second one. I played for a team called Pumas uh, with a gentleman I can't remember his name but um, he was a really fan of Pumas and we actually trained at that YMCA over there on Kirkwood and Bel Air Beach in it. I can't remember which which uh, but it was in the Southwest. Southwest when I meet Southwest I talk about Houston, Texas. Um, you know, after a few years of that, then you know we ended up with Texas Premier. My dad actually had a or oh, has a good friend named uh Ale uh, Ale Sanchez, Alejandro Sanchez. And uh, he actually brought me into uh he had friends that worked at Texas Premier there were coaches there and he was able to get me in there and that's where I played. I, I played in second division for a while. Uh so like they go 
you have different age groups, of course, right? Like you, whatever. And then on that, also like um, age brackets, you also have uh, divisions. So like you know, you have your your top your top players in Division One. Uh, I played Division Two when I first started. I remember I actually got called up to Division One, uh, but I had a really terrible season, so I went back to Division Two. Uh, but then I ended up playing, if I recall correctly, I ended up playing in Division One back again. It's just that in Division Two, obviously, I was playing a different position. I was more of a playmaker. And then uh, when I went to Division Two, they already had a lot of playmakers, so they would sit me back uh, as like a, you know, uh, a contention defender. Is that a, is that a word? Contención in Spanish. Um, so it was more a defending role, which I had to get really used to and all that. But you know. I was young, so 15, 16, so we made, you know, we made it work. After that, I ended up playing with this other club team. But, I mean, we just had plain jerseys. Because, uh, it was number five, because I was a defender there. Uh, this was, like, the home jersey. And then we had, like, the, the away jersey, which obviously had different numbers. If I believe these were zeros were at. And, uh, I played in that club, uh, with two of my really good friends there. Uh, Nacho and Mauro, shout out to them. Uh, we were like the Argentinians on the team, and um, but I think if I don't if I don't forget, um, I played as a center back on that one, and uh, I have a really bad memory that I messed up in one of the in the tournament that we ended up uh, tying the game and then going to penalties and then losing in penalties, and um, it was just like a little mixed up, but then also my fault. It was a corner kick or some sort. Uh, or like a free kick, and then uh, I saw it coming to the first pose where I was where I was at, and for some reason, I, in my head, instead of going up and cleaning it out, I ended up like ducking because I thought like the goalie was gonna come in behind me and like either punch it or grab it and stuff like that. But it ended up not you know just going over me and somebody scored, uh, so we we lost we lost that game in penalties, but you know we could have just won the game you know in actual the field uh, but it is what it is so um, that was a really cool team uh, that was actually after I was what 17 18 so towards after high school it was a really good team because it was com uh, it was composed of uh, or made up with like a bunch of guys that uh, that you know we weren't like really like paying to we were playing paying to play in a way but everybody all the kids were all you know a bunch of Hispanic kids that you know it wasn't a club team. It wasn't at a like a club. It was just a bunch of kids that got together, and uh, the coach was was uh, this ex professional player from Bolivia that I can't remember his name now. But basically, he got a bunch of kids together that were pretty good. Uh, we were pretty a legit team, and uh, he put them together. And then you know it was just a bunch of random kids. But the thing about that is that a bunch of these kids, myself included, we all had jobs. Um, so we would work in the morning and then we would go train in the afternoon two, three times a week. Um, and sometimes our schedules, you know, when, you, when you're like 17, 18 and you start making a little bit of more, you know, more money and stuff like that, you know, kind of you start looking at soccer as a second thing, even though it's your passion and you love it. And the team was good. You know, I, I can't remember any of the guys on the team. I apologize. But, you know, a bunch of the dudes were really, really good. Um... But yeah, you know, it is what it is. We we moved on, but you know, those were my playing days, I guess, other than high school, I guess. Um, I wanted to show you guys uh, a couple things that I had also uh, from my childhood. This is a little a tiny jersey, if you can see it there. A little Boca jersey that I have when I was a child. So this was given to me, so like you can't really see, but it used to say right there, it used to say Senesis. Uh, it's really hard to tell. And then on the front it had the, you know, the Quilmes logo. Or I guess it goes this way. Um, but this was a really cool jersey. The only memory I have of this, it was like, I think it was like 1998, 1999. It, but it's, like, it's one of my favorite jerseys. I wish I had it, you know, as an adult now. Uh, just because it's, it's so cool, but it's super heavy. That's, that's the thing. Like, the material, super heavy. You can see the medium on the kids, I guess. Uh, but it was like one of the coolest jerseys and the only thing I have memory of this is uh, Palermo uh, w going blonde 
uh, some like uh, Christian Ramirez if you're familiar with the Houston Dynamo. Uh, then another one that I have also of my childhood, I'm actually missing one, I can't find it anywhere. Uh, but I, I I'll, I'll find it eventually and then we'll probably do another video. Um, I got this one right here, Quilmes, with the giant fat yellow part on it. And also, it was like, so the one that I just showed you previously was like a third, a third kit, basically. This was like the original, you know, number, first kit, I guess the home kit for that. Like also, year like 99, 2000. And also another memory I had was uh, Palermo in his, you know, great days. And also uh, Guillermo Barros Esceloto, Esqueloto, Esceloto, whatever you want to call him. Um, you know, in his in his glory days with Boca when we had the, the, the great trident, Riquelme, uh, Palermo, and Esceloto on the side. Um, let's see. So now we're going to go with the, with, the older, with the older crew. But before we do that, let me show you just one little thing. So this right here, it's a little onesie, it's a Houston Dynamo onesie, that this is actually going to be for my, um, I have a third kid now, she's about a, almost two weeks old, or about a week and a half, and she's going to be wearing this, uh, you know, just a little thing, be, you know, the older kids, they wear this one, they wear these, they're still not big enough uh, physically to wear them, but I still put it on them, because, you know, why not? Uh, what's up, bud? No? Alright, so we're gonna keep moving. Um, Daddy. Here, come say hi to the camera. Say hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay, Basa Brasa. Go over there. Daddy's doing something, okay? When I'm done, I go play, okay, buddy? Watch out with your fingers. Alright, we'll continue. What's up, bud? We're gonna go uh, with one of the, the jer I'm gonna go with the jerseys that I don't really wear the most. Okay, buddy, stop. Stop playing with the door, bub. Stop. So we're gonna do this one. This is actually a uh, a Valencia shirt that my dad used to wear when he played in one of those Sunday league games or Sunday leagues. Uh, if you can see the the oh man, I should I should uh, invest in some lighting, huh? So the Valencia logo right there. I don't know if you guys can see it really well, but it's a really cool jersey, number fifteen as well. Uh, as, the, as the white uh, jersey that you saw previously. Uh, but the reason I kept this one uh, was because this one re reminds me of my dad. Um, my dad used to wear it. He probably is, is looking for it because he has a... So we're going to do another episode with my dad too. Uh, he has a bunch of jerseys, a bunch of Boca jerseys that I want. But obviously they're his. I have one... one. He has a yellow one, a Boca jersey that is yellow that is like one of my favorites. But obviously it's his, so... But I'm planning on sealing them soon. Uh, but yeah, this is like one of these uh, really giant ones, but like very, very, like, screams out uh, Sunday League to them. I'll probably have my dad sign it. That would be cool, huh? But yeah, this is my Valencia jersey that I don't really wear often because, you know, very, very bright orange. But, you know, maybe we'll, we'll put it out there. We'll see what we can do with this. Uh, another one... That I have that is one of my favorites. It's really old. It's another Sunday leaguer. It's another Sunday league uh, jersey. The AC Milan. Back in the early 2000s. Kind of style. With the colors still on there. Uh, you know with the Safira on it. It's still kind of faded. We you know AC Milan. But the thing I love. The thing that I love about this one. Is that of course. It's a number 10. So you can see the little. AC Milan on the on the back side. See, I'm terrible with this camera stuff. Beautiful AC Milan. And then it has the number 10. So, of course, this one is actually a great jersey to, like, just wear. Like, with some nice jeans and stuff. I got a picture that, you know, I'm over here, like, posted up with it. Um, my wife doesn't like it when I wear jerseys. Or at least when I want to wear them to, like, nice formal things. But I think they're, they look badass. Some like really nice jeans and stuff. But this is another Sunday League jersey. I don't know where I got it from. But I'm pretty sure I got it from uh, my dad. He played in a bunch of Sunday League Sunday League teams. So this is another one of those. Um, Y'all want to do jackets? I'll do jackets. So, most, so all these jackets that I have. They're actually. Um, they're pretty badass. 
It's a Boca jersey. So obviously, as you can tell by now, I am a Boca Juniors fan. So Boca, Boca, uh, Boca jacket, BVVA Frances. Uh, and all these I got from my from my aunt in Argentina, my madrina. Uh, if she's listening, madrina, se te extraña mucho, se te quiere mucho. Uh, mi, ma mi madrina, mi tía Vishu. Uh, so yeah, she got she got these uh, most most of these she got them for me. Uh, so shout outs to her. She always sending me stuff. So this is a really nice jacket. Let me show you another blue one that I have. I really like this one. Because it has a little, uh, the neon yellow lines on it. So it's a little different. You know, it's still blue. It has nothing on the back. But I, I think what makes it really stand out is the neon yellow. You know, it's not like, it's not like your regular yellow. It's that neon yellow that makes it stick out. Uh, let's see. And then one of my favorites. Uh, not a lot of people know this, but my favorite color is yellow. So it kind of, it's kind of weird, you know, for somebody to like yellow but I love yellow and this is one of my favorite jackets that I try to wear as much as I can just because obviously a Boca, a Boca jacket and then it has a giant you know CABJ on the back but it's pretty dope it has the you know instead of having the neon ones it has the the blue on it but it's a pretty tight jacket it's really nice all right so we're gonna move into some other jerseys that I have we're going to go with this one, and then this one, but let's go with this one first. So also, another thing, if you know me at all, you know who exactly my favorite player is. And of course, this is going to be him. Riquelme is probably my, boy, he's my top favorite player ever. Um, he's chased right out, you know. Right under him is like Ronaldinho for me and a few other players. Uh, I love uh, Totti, Luca Toni from the, you know, players from that era, from the early 2000s. But Riquelme is a badass jersey that I got. Uh, I don't even know if I should be telling the story, but this is a jersey that they wore back in like, what, 2006, 2008? I think this is the one they wore for the, for the Olympics in 2006, I believe. That we got the Argentina got the gold medal, and also th this is the same jersey where you see uh, Riquelme playing with Messi. One of like the few times that they played together. This is the jersey that they were wearing, and this I got it uh, from an ex girlfriend. So she was this was gifted to her, and then I kind of kept it. So uh, shout outs to you. Thank you for letting me keeping it. Um, if you want it back, sorry. Uh, I think I'll keep this one. And then of course, these you know, these are kind of oldish. The the little logo came out of there. That's how much they've been used and uh maybe they're not the best quality, but they're the pretty badass one. This is probably from the last um from the last years that Riquelme played in Boca. As you can see, it has the Roman. So this is one also one of my favorites. Uh, just because it doesn't say even the it says Roman, so it's a pretty badass jersey. Obviously, that it's kind of fading there, but it's very sentimental because it just kind of reminds you of the last era of Riquelme playing in Boca. So this is why I keep this bad boy. Uh, another one. So this is another classic Argentina. Uh, this is a little bit more, uh, you know, the newer side. This is an authentic one. So they had, you know, it's not one of those cheap ones. So here's a little lo the you know the logo there. It's a really nice Adidas ones. Uh that from like I think they wore this in the not the last World Cup, but in the last World Cup. The second to last, if that makes any sense. So it's a really nice, you know, basic Argentina jersey, you know, with the FI. You can never go wrong with these. If I'm not mistaken, my uh my now wife got this for me. Oh, she got me a bunch of stuff. But yeah, that's one of them. Um, and then let's go for the other one of my favorites as well another book I jersey it's a little newer one also an authentic one um, and also one of my favorite things about this book I jersey is that it has a little uh, moniker I guess that's a moniker whatever it called El Rey de Clues because of course you know we are 
I'm not going to say we're the best club in the world, but we are the best club in the world. Um, and we are El Rey de Clubes. We are right there with AC Milan, have the most international cups won by a club team. Um, so let's go with a random one here that I have. So this was actually given to me by a friend of mine. Um, this is a Chile jersey. That I don't, I, I don't really wear this one, just because of my roots, Jorgito. So it was from Jorge. Uh, he came from Chile not too long ago. I think it was like last year. He came from Chile and he was here in the country for like, I don't know, four or five months maybe. I don't know how long it was, but before he left, I gave him a, a Houston Dynamo T-shirt that I had with me, and then in exchange, he gave me this one. And it's actually pretty badass, like material to to like run in. It's like that dry fit material. But you know, this is one of one of those sentimental ones um, jerseys that I keep, uh, and also it's a pretty good style. The blue on top with the with the big old red on the bottom, it's pretty cool. And also, I like the the font on it, so pretty badass. Shout out to Jorge if you're seeing this. We miss you, brother. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, so now we're gonna jump into the Houston Dynamo uh, category, which is my last of jerseys. So this is actually the first Houston Dynamo jersey I got. Uh, so it's the 2016-17 uh, away jersey. Also, I love the thing there, the uh, Forever Orange. It's kind of faded because I wear these a lot. But the Forever Orange, of course, with the BH Pavilion. But what I really loved about this jersey was that it was the first black one. Um, a few months ago, uh, maybe a few weeks ago, I read, uh, I didn't read, I wrote, or typed, something for a Houston uh, Dynamo Theory, dynamotheory.com, uh, that's where I write some articles here and there, but uh, I wrote how this was my first one because it was the first one that it was different, I wasn't really into the whole orange stuff, um, so not too long ago, um, but now, you know, these were the reasons why I got my first Dynamo jerseys, basically. And then, of course, this one. Who doesn't love this one? If you're from Houston, this is probably one of the best jerseys. And right now, actually, the MLS is doing a contest to see who has the, the best. And I love these uh, logos things. Who has the best jerseys out there? And I think this one beats it by a mile. As you can see, he's been worn a lot in my... My dumb self doesn't know how to take care of jerseys. But this is a really cool jersey because it has a little, um, you know, a little tribute to the Houston Astros in the whole championship year. And, uh, well, you know, last year. And then, you know, given to the history of the Houston Astros with the, with the orange colors and the fade or whatever. Uh, so this is probably one of my favorite ones just style-wise because, uh, because of this right here. It is so cool right here. Um, I think this is one of my favorite ones, if not my favorite one. And then, of course, uh, I got into, let me just show you this one right here. So this is the one, um, if you are following the Houston Dynamo at all, 2020 season, the preseason, they wore these just plain black jerseys with the MD Anderson that, you know, when everybody got their jerseys, they noticed that they had nothing in them. But basically, these are like super simple, super like you know, very um, how can you, like very training jerseys. So it's a really nice like dry fit material. You can actually see through it, uh, the whole shebang. And I freaking love wearing this jersey because it's just wearing like a black shirt. I love these stripes right here. So it's just wearing a black shirt. You know, it goes with anything, but it has the you know the Houston Dynamo logo on it. So it's pretty badass. And uh, last but not least, you know how I was talking about how I didn't really like the orange, but I was convinced because there was a sale, and I finally got an orange jersey from the Houston Dynamo. So I don't wear this often, just because of the colors, but you know, sometimes you gotta break it out. Also another cool feature is the little faded into white with the little uh, squares, and the little uh, tribute here. If you see in the collar to the to the stadium to like the architecture of the stadium. Hey, what's up, Bob? Come here, come say hi to the camera. So this is Sophia. The other one was Caleb. This is Sophia. Say hi, Sophia. Hi. 
Hi, Sophia. No, you don't say hi, Sophia. You say hi, everybody. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Okay, can I have a kiss? Mm, hi, okay. Zay. Oh, what? I love you too. Okay, bro. You're gonna go over there, okay, Bobby? I'm almost done. I'll be over there. Bye bye. Close the door, okay? Alright, so yeah. Uh, orange jersey, of course. If you're a Houston if you're a Houston Dynamo fan and you don't have an orange jersey, then you know you kinda you're missing something. You're missing something. Um so that's basically all my jersey collections, uh or all the stuff that I have. Like I said, I'm missing one. Of the baby ones, of the kids ones, but I'll try. I'll see if I can find it. I'll post a picture on the Cuatro Cuatro Dos uh, Instagram. Make sure you keep up with us. Make sure you like, you subscribe, you comment, or whatever you have to do, uh, just to let me know what you think of you know something like this. Would you like to be in uh, one of these videos? Uh, would you let me come over your house and you can show me your closet, show me all the stuff that you have? Um, I have some scarves here. Let me just show them for the heck of it. So forever, Dynamo Orange, there. So most of these, I'll be honest, I got these for free. You got the little towel, you know, they give you when you go to the stadium. Bro, this is one of my, this, this is a good towel right here. That's a good one, huh? It's a really good one. And then you got the... So actually, this year, I told myself that I was going to go to more, uh, NWSL games so but I got this one right here so it says Houston the uh, NWSL Houston Texas so it's actually from the 2016 uh, NWSL championship that honestly I don't know who won it but I have it but uh, like I said I'm gonna get a little bit more into the Houston dash so go ladies dash on and then the last one that I'm going to show today, I'll show you everything that I have later on. But, you know, Forever Orange, of course. So all these are my scarves. And then this one right here, I actually have it autographed by some of the players from the great 2000, uh, 2018 season that we won. 2019 season, sorry. And we didn't, we didn't win anything. But, you know, we're, we're going to get in our winning way soon, hopefully. Uh, so basically that's it. This is my closet. This is my Jersey Chronicles. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys uh, like this. Hopefully we'll get more content like this coming your way soon enough uh, with more people, with more people, with more people, with more people. I said that twice. Uh, you can tell I'm a little nervous. I'm not a, a host of anything. But, you know, we'll keep doing this. Hope, like I said, hopefully you guys... Uh, like it. Uh, don't forget to listen to the podcast Cuatro Cuatro Dos with the Q-U-T-T-R-O for Cuatro. Or you can just call it uh, Q Squared. That's cool too. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. Deuces.